What's up everybody? Alexander here. Um, I just woke up. <laughs> um, it's Saturday. I do not work this weekend so I had some time to do another review and test for you. Uh, this time I'm going to be testing uh, Kaspersky Rescue City. This is gonna be a um, versus test because um, I already tested a Norton bootable recovery tool against uh, the same infected machine. This is the same infected machine with um, Spyver Trojans, Adverse, Worms, uh, Downloaders, then we have some uh, TDL4, TDL3 rootkits, then we have uh, some Sality and Violet infections. This is highly infected PC and uh, we will test it against Kaspersky as you can see there are a lot of malicious processes running here those are all malicious as you can see it's highly infected PC so uh, we will see how Kaspersky does we will now restart the machine and we will try to boot up from the CD again my mistake there we are from CD by the way this is not um, only Kaspersky rescue CD I will boot it up from uh, Sardu Sardu whatever as you can see I have some other solutions here but uh, that's the same I will show you in some of the next video how to build Sardu it's easy so now we we'll, now it will boot up from um, from Kaspersky Rescue City as you can see Norton did not do that well in cleaning part I mean uh, Norton r bootable recovery tool did not uh, clean the machine that well it made it uh, it made the uh, desktop icons disappeared and probably it caused some problems with the uh, win logon maybe explorer.exe I'm not sure what was the problem because some of these viruses infects um, some of these significant uh, Windows processes and files and um, I believe that N Norton deleted some of them and it made it uh, it made the machine unusable useless so now I will leave this to load up and um, I'm gonna pause the video for a second and I'll be back as soon as uh, this is done okay there we are it says press A to accept the agreement or R to reboot or P to shut up your computer so I will press A and there we are this is the Kaspersky Rescue Disk 10 they haven't released new version for two years maybe more um, it says the computer's operating system has been shut down incorrectly so do you wish to continue that's not that important so I will press continue now it's mounting disks this is a virtual machine and uh, it only has C drive so we will scan entire C drive and some boot sectors and um, startup ob objects first we will update Kaspersky and after that we will configure it for the best possible results come on 
it takes some time let me pause the video again okay there we are finally and uh, this is the main user interface as you can see um, we will check here um, disk boot setters, disk boot setters, hidden startup objects and the entire C drive we will start update because uh, database status obsolete and uh, while this is updating we will go through the settings here and um, we will try to configure something to customize here all files additional we will move heuristics from light scan to deep scan then options threats and exclusions let's go to threats those are threat categories um, make sure that you select other potentially unwanted software okay uh, then we will prompt when the scan is complete this is by default we will choose uh, action automatically so this in fact this is the first step and uh, if it's not possible delete the file okay now this is updating uh, it just started so I will pause the video I'm going to eat something and uh, drink and uh, I'll be back when this is done so see you soon okay I'm back and uh, update process completed one minute ago uh, it took about 16 minutes and uh, the update size was about 85 megabytes so the first thing uh, that you will notice if you compare Kaspersky Rescue CD to Norton Bootable Recovery Tool is that uh, the update process is much faster and uh, much smoother if I can say like that with the Norton Bootable Recovery Tool but that's not the most important thing we will see how Kaspersky clean this machine how it will clean the machine uh, I will start the scan now and it will take some time probably because um, this is highly infected PC so now I'm gonna pause the video and uh, I'll be back and show you the results okay okay I'm back and Norton Rescue Disk, disk <laughs> Norton Rescue Disk completely scanning and uh, it removed everything um, it found so let's take a look at report there it is deleted 193 items quarantine 22 disinfected 129 and uh, absent are 11 whatever it means okay let's see what it found some Trojan Win32 in application data some adver some worms some salad infections this is from folder okay some Trojans in Windows as you can see in system 32 that's my Facebook that's not important now now we will try to reboot the system and we will see if we can uh, boot up to a desktop we will start windows normally The scan took about uh, 75 minutes. That's a lot. 
but there were a lot of infections as you can see if we are able to to get to the desktop um, I will try to run Malwarebytes scan maybe Hitman Pro okay there we are everything looks normal for now I haven't seen that Kaspersky detected um, some rootkits we will check that now we have update for this uh, TDSS killer let me set the resolution okay let's open up again this hmm okay let's skip that I will do that at the end let's open up Malwarebytes it's outdated 72 days I will update Malwarebytes our connection is still alive and that's, that's good and uh, I'm gonna pause the video I will do a quick scan with, with Malwarebytes so I'll be back with the scanning results okay Malwarebytes finished scanning and it found 63 items so these are all registry keys and files worms malware hijackers malware trays and that's pretty much it so there is no malicious processes running I'll remove everything as you can see in process explorer everything looks normal everything looks fine Um, I will not restart the machine let me now run Kaspersky TDSS killer to see if uh, Kaspersky bootable rescue city got rid of um, some rootkits so as you can see everything looks fine Norton uh, did not remove these rootkits TDL3 and TDL4 but Kaspersky did remove them so that's um, another plus for Kaspersky and for the end I will run Hitman Pro and uh, it's not okay anymore because uh, it got infected with virus probably I'm gonna pause the video, I will copy this and I will run a scan with Hitman Pro. As you can see, Hitman Pro original installation has been hijacked. Uh, it has been modified. This is the older, no, this is the older and this is the new one. As you can see, it has different size. So I will run now the fresh copy of a Hitman Pro fresh installation and uh, I'll be here in a second alright and Hitman Pro completed scanning it found some infections let's, so let's take a look uh, system 32 virus this is a virus as you can see the most of these are in system 32 so these are all executable files that um, actually got patched by this um, horrible infection this virus infection as you can see virus win32 virus everything got patched so um, but there is no active malicious processes running in here if you open up process explorer as you can see everything looks fine so these are all um, executable files that got patched and uh, some of these are malware traces so basically 
um, Kaspersky did pretty well I can say that so if you ask me what should I choose between um, Kaspersky Rescue City uh, and Norton bootable recovery tool um, I would say go with Kaspersky so that's pretty much it and uh, thanks for watching everybody please comment rate and subscribe if you haven't and um, see you soon so have a nice day everybody bye bye